Hey guys, it's Jordan Nelson Gilbert here. I'm going to be doing a quick EG Pro Tip video sponsored by MSI. This video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to configure settings at home and at LAN, anywhere. And this is just going to basically run through from desktop to in game my mouse and video settings. So, freshly booted up MSI G Series laptop right here. I'm just going to go ahead, feel it out. Sensitivity I can already feel is a little too fast. I'm going to go in the start menu. I'm going to go to the normally control panel to get to the mouse options pull up the mouse see you got the pointer options here it's at about five notches right now I'm gonna bring this down to three I uh, I always make sure my DPI is set on 1800 on this mouse it's just default on high so I'm good after that check if there's any mouse drivers a lot of times when you're at LAN and whatnot people just installing everything so you just really gotta check for all this stuff to make sure that everything's proper now, so let's see, add or remove programs, here we go. All right, nothing's in here. Got basic stuff, no other drivers, that's clear, good to go. Next thing I check, mouse hertz. This is a relatively new thing. It's, uh, I just started using it about last year, so it's a pretty good product. It really improves the position of your mouse on LCD especially, so I like to do uh, use that every turn when I can. I'm gonna, there's two different types. I'm going to show you both. There's one for Windows XP. There's another for uh, every other version, basically. The XP version here, you can look at the screen. It's uh, USB MRS 11. Normally, you just double click on it, hit run. I already had this configured earlier. Hit patch. Comes up. You could patch to 250, 500, or 1000. Uh, a lot of older mice are set at 125, so is Windows default. So you kind of want to check that if you have an older mouse. My mouse is default at 500, but I like to bump it up to 1,000 because uh, really nice precision. After this, basically uh, good for my mouse on the desktop side so far. I'm going to go ahead and check my uh, control video control panel options. I'm going to right click on desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel, and we're going to check this out. First thing I go is to the manage 3D settings. A lot of times there's random anything settings. I'll go through them here really quick. We got anisotropic filtering. I never use this. I like to keep all this off. It's at 4x right here. I'm going to select off, scroll down, scrolling down. Texture filtering quality. It's already set at quality, which is the default. I like this. I use 800 by 600, so it's not as dependent on seeing through little grates and stuff like on Inferno. But if you're using 640, you might want to uh, look into using quality or high quality to help you see through those little cracks. Set to quality, boom, vertical sync. This is a big aspect of uh, Counter-Strike. FPSs are really dependent on just really quick shots, and this is uh, not, not that good for that. So if you put it for soft, that's a proper setting. Everything else looks good in here. I'm going to hit apply, and then I'm going to head on down to my desktop color settings. Got my brightness here. Now, one thing I'll say really quick about this is a lot of times people just think, oh, everyone, like, the settings are so dependent. Not all the settings really matter. Everything else is up to you. The only thing you need to make sure that is proper while you're playing in a live match is, one, you don't get blind for too long, and two, you can see all the little dark corners. So I, I like to bump my gamma up a little bit. This control panel in particular, most of the values here started at 50%, so I like to drop them down a little bit. I got contrast at 52 right now. I'll bring that down. That'll help with my smokes and flashes. Got gamma. I'm going to bring that up a little more, help me see in dark corners to about 0.90. And then I got my brightness. It's a little low right now. Default's 50, I think. I'm just going to bring it up to default and set it right there. That should be good. Now, I already got a pretty vibrant bright monitor on this uh, MSI laptop. It's a nice G series, nice 15 inch screen. It's really crisp, so I don't really need to mess with the gamut all that too much. I already have a nice vision. The last thing I do like to uh, add, though, is the digital vibrance. Although it's already nice and clear, this adds a really cool color to all the textures around the map, and I really like having this on there. So I think it is a little lower. So yeah, it started at zero. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it up. I bring it up to 70. It's higher than most users. A lot of people do 50 or none or 30. But I know a lot of pros just say it's whatever. And some people use zero. So it's really just preference. I like seeing the nice colors around. It's just good for me. And I think that does it for this. I'm going to make sure everything else is good in the other one really quick. Scan over it. Seems good. I'm going to close these settings. And then next, I'm going to open up Steam, and I'm going to look at the launch options. The thing about launch options is... 
a lot of people in the beginning stages of Counter Strike don't really mess with these because they don't know much about what they're what they're doing even. So launch options, I think, are, are a big step for people to make sure they're always implementing in their own configuration. I'm gonna open up my Steam Games window here, take a quick look, right click on my Counter Strike icon, bring up to the properties. Once I'm there, there's a set launch options button. Clicking that right here, bring it up. There's nothing in here. There's uh there's three basic commands that are the most popular usage of the launch options. There's no force MXL, no force MP arms, and no force MSPD. All these have a little minus sign in the beginning of them, and uh, it's basically all of them are mouse settings. All of them are horizontal, vertical, speed, all that stuff. I don't use MSPD though. That's what I was going to say originally. MSPD is something to do with X and Y axis. It's kind of uncomfortable for me. It adds a little too much Excel, so I don't really like to deal with that. After I got those two in, I check uh, frequency, freak, 75 on LCD, 100 on CRT, set that all properly. I'm not quite sure what uh, Counter-Strike is going to boot in right now, so I don't want to set it to anything just to make sure your screen doesn't have any problems. Close this. Everything's set for that. I'm going to go ahead and open up Counter-Strike. Looks nice. 800 by 600. Got a nice vision. This monitor handles most resolutions really well for Counter-Strike. That's why I really enjoy playing on this. Brightness. Resolution is already set. I use 800 by 600. It's a nice default resolution. It's like old school Counter-Strike. Really clean. After that, Gamma, 32-bit. 32 32-bit's 32 always it's the legal uh, legal value. Can't have 16-bit and doesn't don't really need it. Gamma, make sure that's full, in my opinion. I like having it always full in game. Brightness, a little less. About second notch. And uh, right below the end. And then once you hit apply, it's going to close and come back Counter-Strike. Then it's set. 